Hello everyone, welcome to Light Unit 2 practice test. Question number one, what would the altitude of the light in the picture be? This is similar to the la or one of the questions on our last test with our shadows and poles. In order to be accurate, you're going to have to do your four point drawing. Once you've done your four point drawing, then you're going to place your protractor the hash mark on the corner, make sure your shadow line then lines up with the zero and read your angle. In this case, the angle would be 57 degrees. Question number two, you see a four centimeter stick that's making a five centimeter long shadow. What is the altitude of the light source? Our stick is going to be our gnomon, so we would have to draw that vertically. Then we're going to take and draw our five centimeter long shadow across the base or the ground. That's our horizon. We create our right angle mark. We know we're then going to measure the angle directly across on the ground. We'll take our protractor. Again, putting that X on the corner and lining our shadow up with the zero. We have two options then for our angle. We have 40 degrees or 140 degrees. We know that our answer in this case has to be 40 degrees because we can never have an altitude that is higher than 90 degrees. Question number three, what did we learn about how light strikes the earth in our thought experiment uh, lesson? This is on our activity review. We have three different ways that you could answer this question. You could answer it verbally that we know that light hits the earth in straight parallel lines, or you could have taken from our thought experiment and drawn how those straight parallel lines hit the house, or you could take it from our other worksheet where we can see our straight parallel lines that are hitting the earth. Question number four, why does light strike the earth the way that it does? We know this is the case because our sun is so far away and the farther away a light source is, the more parallel the light rays will appear. All right, our final four questions on this are scale questions. And the key to on these scale questions is just remember what we did in class when we used the scale where a million kilometers was equal to a meter. And we went outside and we walked it off. Remember on that scale, the Earth was the size of that ball bearing, the Moon's the size of that soft air pellet, and the Sun is so big compared to this that I can't show you on here. Remember, it was the size of the whiteboard. And as a matter of fact, 110 of those side by side equal the diameter of the sun on that scale. So here's the, the that's this question. How many times is the diameter of the earth the sun? And it's 110. Now, this one right there would say 1,000. That's a little bit too big. That would mean 1,000 of these side by side. And this would be five times these. Five of these would be about that big. And that's obviously not even close to the sun that we had on our whiteboard the day that we did this. So really try and remember that walk off we did. OK, our next question, the moon is about, well, you can see right here about how big the moon is compared to the Earth. That's a really close scale. Well, it's not three times the size of the Earth. That would make it bigger than the Earth. It's about a fourth the size of the Earth, which you see right there. Our other choice is 50% the size of the Earth. That's probably the best wrong answer uh, because it still has the moon being smaller. And then 1 100th 1 the size of the Earth. That's how much smaller the Earth is than the Sun. Remember, way smaller than the Sun, but that's not that much smaller than the Earth. So again, think of those scales every time. Now we get to our distance one. And again, I've got a little reminder. Remember the walk off we did on the field. So it says on that scale, and that was where we were 150 meters from the sun. So our next question is, if the sun was the size of a basketball, then the earth would be about. Now the key here to think about is, if the sun is the size of a basketball, that's smaller than the sun was when we did our walk off. Remember the sun was that great big paper sun that we had on the side of Mrs. Brent and, uh, Mrs. Brent's room. And a basketball is quite a bit smaller than that. So if we're going to make that, that scale smaller, all the distances are going to be smaller too. And remember the distance when we used the scale in class was 150 meters. So if the sun's going to shrink, so is that distance of 150 meters. Our choices here are 200 meters away. Well, that's 
further than we went when we did the walk off. That can't be the correct answer. 30 meters away, which you can see is the correct answer. That is, so that's substantially less distance. Uh, and that's, that's the correct answer. Our other choice is 150 meters away, which is the exact same distance we marched off. And of course, we're using a different scale since we made the sun the size of a basketball. The sun was smaller, our scale, our distance got smaller. And same thing here. If the Earth was the size of a basketball, then the moon would be about uh, how far away? And this one is kind of the opposite of this. Here on our scale, the Earth was the size of this ball bearing, and this was 38 centimeters away, which is really about maybe that distance. I can probably get it maybe not quite on screen, but it was pretty darn close to our Earth on this scale. Well, now the Earth is the size of a basketball. We made it much bigger than this, which means that distance has to be a lot bigger than this. So the first one, 38 centimeters away, that's what it was on this scale when the Earth was this size. Now it's a basketball. The next one, 30 meters away. Now that is substantially further than this, but remember a basketball is substantially larger than this. And so that makes that the correct answer. The other nice way to think about this is the Veritasium uh, video we watch. That's about how far they moved when they had the Earth as a basketball and the moon as a softball. And then finally, 10 centimeters away would actually be making this an even smaller distance, which means the moon would have, to, or the Earth would have to even be smaller than this on that scale. So on all these scale problems, you really need to think of it in comparison to the walk-off we did where the moon was the earth was that big and the moon was this size our sun was the big paper one and we walked 150 meters across um, the field to find the distance between the earth and the sun and we found that the earth and the moon were only about 38 centimeters apart which is not that far all right thanks good luck